Hello, welcome to this video review of Vidmora AI, The Truth. I want to put this video out there because I recently made a video review of Vidmora AI. And when I went to review Vidmora AI, you can see here that I've made a video. You couldn't open the video. It made the video, but you couldn't open it to view it and you couldn't download it. So I didn't give it a great review because of that, but the problem has since been fixed. And so now I'm going to go back and give it a review. I'm only going to concentrate on the AI video creator. I'm not going to concentrate on the other bits because frankly they're not very good. If we want to make an AI video we go to add AI video creator. Now what we can do is we can type stuff in and it will generate a script for us. However I've already made a script so I'm going to do that. I'm not going to use the AI aspect. I've got a really big script and I want to put it in and it's all about London attractions and there's a reason I put in a script about London attractions. So I'm going to click on generate. Now when you click on generate it will go and retrieve an AI script based on the text you put in. So this is a lot shorter than the script I put in. My script was really quite good and this has shortened it. So I'm going to very quickly just put my original script in. So I've been given 12 scenes and those scenes are fixed. So I can't go and add another scene in. I'm limited to the scenes it selects. So it came up with 12 scenes and I've managed to paste my original script into this 12 scenes um, without losing any content. We next need to pick some music, cinematic documentary I'm going to go for. I don't know how good that is. Now we click generate video and it goes away and it generates the video. And what happens is you land back at your original starting place and you've just got to wait for the video to be generated. So we can see here we've landed back here and the video is pending. So I'm going to come back once the video is done. So my video is taking a long time to render. The videos in Vidmora AI actually don't take that long to render. So what I did was I went back and I put my script in and then I just went with what Vidmora AI suggested. So you can see now we've got this video open button and that opens the video in a different tab and you can watch it and download it. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to stop it there because I want to talk about things. You keep seeing this odd scene. Now, one of the things that happened was when it generated its own script based on what I'd put, there were some blank lines in there. So that's why you're seeing that strange yellow scene because of the blank lines. This scene in particular is quite good because it's got Buckingham Palace in. But quite a lot of the scenes do not relate in any way to the text. I like the way the text displays. I think that's really good. I like the way the text is read out. It's really good. But notice the pictures or the video doesn't always correspond to the text. This is a beach. This is in no way the British Museum. So it's got this completely wrong. I'm going to go back to the video page. Some things it doesn't matter whether it gets it wrong, but for things like the British Museum where it has a beach, it doesn't even have like a museum feel. You're maybe not looking for a muse the British Museum, but a museum would do or the inside or an art gallery. And the worst thing is you can't go and edit anything. You can't go and edit your video or change the background or change the music or change anything because once it's made, it's made and there's no way to edit it. Now what I did was I took my same initial script. This is the script that's still rendering in Vidmore AI and I put it into Course Reels AI. And here you can see it's made certain slides. Now, it's got some things wrong. Interestingly, this is the one Vidmore AI got right. It's got a beach when we're talking about Buckingham Palace. But most of the other scenes are accurate. This is the British Museum and it's got something that looks like a museum. This is the National Gallery. Again, it's not in the National Gallery. But this one has St Paul's in. 
sometimes you're not going to get things right with AI. Sometimes the AI will pick the wrong things. But at least with something like course reels, you can go and edit it and you can select different images or you can upload your own. With Vidmora, you can't even do that. So I've come back the next day. I've left it about 12 hours. I've come back the next day and still this video is pending. And I suspect it will always be pending. I suspect this video will never get made. It's either fallen over somewhere in the back end or it's just too complicated because I added a lot of text. Either way, it's disappointing. So let's sum up about Vidmora AI. It does make videos now that it's working, but those videos you cannot edit and the videos are limited in, in what you can put in them. They, they're always under a minute. Anything over a minute I've never seen made. And maybe that's why this video has never got made because it would have been over a minute and this, it just doesn't, this service just doesn't seem to support videos over a minute. While I've been making videos and testing this out and it has been working, Working, I found that I can't ever get anything over a minute. So maybe that's accounting for why the video is always at pending. Once you make your video, you can't edit it. And in some ways for the price, that's okay. But because the video footage selected can be odd, it sometimes means you can't really use it. For example, it was talking about the British Museum and it showed a picture of the Louvre. If it showed something that was generic to a museum, then that would have been okay. But if it shows something that is very clearly wrong, or it has errors in, like we saw with that strange sunset image, then you would want to edit it. So it is a real shame that you cannot go in and change the video that's used. The text to speech works very well. The text displayed on the screen works very well. My only concern is you are gonna get videos under a minute and you don't have any control over what stock footage is used. So would I recommend this? Probably not. Thank you, goodbye.